Located on the western edge of the North American continent, exists one of the last great wilderness regions of its kind. The Great Bear Rainforest, the largest expanse of temperate old growth rainforest left on the planet. Here, where the land meets the sea, terrestrial and marine ecosystems are intertwined, creating one of the most biologically rich areas in the world. Science is just beginning to scratch the surface of understanding the complex interplay of species in this remote area. A group of engineers, biologists and filmmakers have developed a new way to gain insight into the inner workings of this secretive coastal rainforest. Well, for nearly two decades we've been trying to uh, really further our understanding of the predator-prey relationships in particular uh, in these remote salmon rivers in the Great Bear Rainforest. What we realize now is that there's far more going on in these wild river systems uh, than we're capable of observing firsthand. So what we are doing now is deploying a new generation of wireless video cameras in these remote areas. And we're extremely excited about it because uh, we hope to uncover feeding behavior, interspecies relationships that uh, has not been recorded previously. So we've got the first system down. It's here. This is one of our high-end cameras. What's superb about them is that they have a, a 360 degree field of view in the horizontal plane and 180 in the uh, vertical plane. So we can pretty much look at any angle. So it gives us huge flexibility. So it's very exciting because we can spot the walls as long as they're within our field of view and follow them, track them, pan, tilt and zoom, watching their behavior, which is just so exciting because we now know just 150 feet from where we had the camera last night, we've located their prime feeding ground. So next step, get the camera up and uh, get, situate, get situated for tomorrow's footage, or tomorrow's evening's footage, I should say. The remote cameras are placed in areas of high wildlife activity. This season, they're focusing on salmon rivers, as this is where many of the species will come to feed. The field crew knows what to look for when placing the cameras, as each species leaves behind its own unique clues. A headless salmon indicates that wolves are in the area. Once the cameras are installed, the crew heads back to the boat to set up the radio receivers and then wait and watch. This is one of the radios that will be receiving um, video signal from one of the cameras that is set up up the river there. So we have three cameras set up. Uh, we're, I'm just having a quick look around the estuary here to see what's going on. Um, and the, the nifty thing is we've got the complete field of view of everything that's going on in the estuary. So that shot is from about 100 yards away, so it's a very big dynamic range on the, on the zone, which is huge. The cameras are equipped with infrared technology, allowing the crew to monitor the river valley 24 hours a day. This is opening up another level of insight into the lives of nocturnal animals, like the wolves. Oh, he's coming right up. He's coming right up. Oh, he's walking directly toward the... There he is. Maybe the creek bell. Is he drinking? Oh, that's he's pulling out fish. Oh, he pulled out a fish. Wow. Look at that. Is that is beautiful. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. The cameras catch everything that moves through the river valley. Back on the boat, the crew takes turns keeping watch on the cameras. You never get just to watch wildlife doing their thing. You always, no matter how quiet you are, you always have some presence there. That they'll be, they know you're there. They're always going to be looking back at you and making sure that you're not a threat. It's exciting just for me because I, yeah, spent a lot of time watching eagles, but never got to get a good look at them like this. They always bugger off when you come too close. And it makes you look at the world differently, like how everything is affected by our presence, so it's completely changed. So an eagle's not an eagle when we're looking at it because it's trying to deal with our presence. So once I zoom in, you can really like see, you can see its tongue and look right into its eye and its big talons. And 
Hey, look at his, look at his toes. They're huge. Just gives you a little insight into their life. So this is our first season, it's a pilot season, um, but we've already noticed from observing uh, wildlife, especially large carnivores, uh, that they're completely unaware of the cameras and they're acting in a, in a way that we've never been able to observe before by our physical presence, uh, really um, changing their behavior. As conservationists, as researchers, we really have a responsibility to protect wildlife that we're viewing and studying and getting to understand. And one of the problems with traditional research methods is that we frequently are habituating wildlife to human presence. And in an area like this where poaching and trophy hunting is happening, we're really putting these animals at a disadvantage because how, how can they tell the difference between someone carrying a tripod and a camera and someone carrying a rifle? So this is using very sophisticated technology to observe wildlife behavior in a non-invasive way. It's incredible. I mean, we consider the amount of work that's been done in the temperate rainforest, especially up here in British Columbia, yet we've never documented, you know, wolverines preying on salmon, cougars preying on salmon. There's so much unknown about what goes on up in these salmon rivers, and we really hope with this camera system, with this new technology, uh, that it's going to open up our eyes to a world that's been previously inaccessible.